Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a haul and this will be my March haul. Uh, I know March is not over yet but I have bought some things in March and I just want to show them to you. And by the way this look I have filmed and it's already up so if you want to see that I will leave it up in the card here. And yeah let's go into some things I have bought. So I bought a lot of lash, not a lot but <laughs> four lashes. This one's from Ailor. This is the most wanted. So this is, I love this and this is quite dra dramatic and this one is gimme gimme and they look like this really pretty and then I bought these most wanted lust list and they look like this. I put these on today but I took them off because I thought they were too dramatic so I don't know about uh, the other lashes here because they're quite dramatic but so maybe in with another look that would be really nice uh, the pair I have Today <laughs> is actually these, Aylor and Shane did Divine Crime, and these are more like natural lashes, so they are really, really pretty. And yeah, that was the lashes, and then I bought Ardell Attitude Adjust uh, Drops. This is like a shimmery drops. You can have them in your foundation, or you can have it like a liquid highlighter. This is like a pinky tone. This is the game changer. I'm gonna show, it comes with this. And I'm just gonna show you how it looks. It actually looks really, really pretty. And you can see it shifts really, really beautiful on the skin. And I have used this as a liquid highlighter, but I also tried it with a foundation, like a matte foundation. But when I mix it in a foundation, I think it's too glittery. You get like all these small glitter specks in your face and I don't like that. So I'm going to use this as a liquid highlighter. And then I bought, actually I was on Sephora today <laughs> and I bought this one. So this is the Chic Leaders, uh, like a small palette uh, from Benefit and it's the new like spring or summer collection. They have this palettes in bigger size uh, and that one, the bigger size you get like blushes I think and the hula bronzer but I already own the hula bronzer. I was just actually very um, interested in, um, oops, <laughs> in the California blush because this is so pretty. I swatched this in store and I was totally in love with this one. So I wanted to get the mini size, but it was very expensive. So I bought all these <laughs> instead. So this is a highlighter that's, it's so, so pretty. I think it's, um, I think it is limited edition for this, um, uh, this palette though but I'm gonna swatch and this is like a pinky shade um, blush but that one didn't swatch uh, good in store I will say but I'm gonna swatch all of these so this is the California uh, I mean this is so beautiful like a coral blush with a golden shift in it it's really really pretty almost pinky and then this tickle so this is the highlighter and i was just oh this is so beautiful this is a pink like a pinky gold highlighter it's like a duochrome i don't know if you can see yeah maybe if i do like this you can see it shifts in gold and then into pink it's so so beautiful really really pretty so just because of that two shades I bought the palette but I also got this dandelion I don't know uh, this pinky shade and it's swatch terrible uh, because it doesn't show off that good it's just this pale pink but maybe it's really pretty on the skin I don't know um, especially with blushes. I don't think you can make up your mind just by swatching them. You have to see how they look on the skin. So maybe that one is good as well. But this is the, as I said, Cheek Leaders Mini Pink Squad. I'm going to do like a try new makeup. Uh, so I will do like a video and I'll try this on so you can see how it looks on the skin. And then I bought this Wet n Wild 
color con bronzer uh, and you can see this don't look like a bronzer so this is not like a bronzer this is more like a setting powder and this has like a, this beautiful sheen to it like you get this beautiful shine to your skin and this is in the shade reserve your cabana and it i have digged into this uh but i'm going to use this as well in trying new makeup so you guys can see how it looks but the print is almost uh, gone now because I've used it so much this is a really really pretty setting powder because you get that sheen and that glow to your face I use it under my eye and I use it all over my skin and I'm yeah I'm loving this actually I actually uh, got this tip from spooky lips and fat hips I think she mentioned this in her favorites or so like monthly favorites or I don't know but I can find that video and link it I have been wanting this hourglass ambient um, powder this uh, powder that gives your skin like a glow and she said in that video that this is supposed to be like kind of similar so that's why I wanted to try it and it's really really pretty I actually swatched the hourglass in store today and that one was more buttery and more not so glittery just shiny so I don't think they are like exactly dupes for each other but this is a very very pretty another face product I bought this is a concealer this is the L'Oreal L'Oreal Infallible more than concealer and I have been in oatmeal so this is how it looks I'm going to use this as well in that video so you guys can see but I've used it now uh, for a while as well and I don't know what I think about this um, but I will tell you more about that in that video and then I ordered some stuff from Makeup Revolution so I bought this cut crease canvas so this is a product that you're supposed to cut your lid with like cut crease uh, instead of uh, concealers and this is like a product just for doing that and I think that's genius actually it looks really really big and this is in the shade illustrate I think and it looks like this it's like a pencil if you can see that um, I'm very excited to try this actually so see how it works and then I bought some of these Revolution Pro pigment pomades this is how it looks the package and I'm going to open one of them I bought four shades as I said and it comes in this pot so this is like a eyeliner and this is the shade let's see here trendy turquoise it's this beautiful turquoise color i think that's stunning and then i bought the burgundy red color and it looks like this also really pretty and then the ocean blue this is more like a true like a true blue <laughs> It's a little more darker than the turquoise one and then the classic red because I don't have any red liner um, and I have been wanted that so this is the true red so I'm very excited to try those so let's see here now I have like two glitter eyeliners I have one before uh, this OPV glitter eyeliner and I have that in this beautiful green shade and now I bought actually two more so this is more like a lavender purple color and let me see this is the shade champagne fantasy and I have one here that's mystic so this is more like a pinky shade and then you have this more like a lavender bluish purple shade and I really love those um, I think they are really really good so that's why I bought these two and then I bought a few lippies uh, let me see here so when I was at Sephora so I bought two more of those lip stories I have I think two of them before so I bought this one right here so this is in the shade golden gate and this is actually the shade I have on today because the lipstick I 
used in the video when I did this look I took it off and I put actually this on but I'm gonna show you anyways so this is a beautiful like dark deep purple color almost like a burgundy purple love that kinds of colors and then I have this one it looks like this and this is in the shade labyrinth city so this is more like a browny red color uh, like a pinky brown I would say really pretty and then I bought from Isadora that's a Swedish brand uh, I bought this perfect matte lipstick in cafe creme and it looks like this this is just a nude lipstick like a more cool toned nude I wanted that and then I was on H&M and I bought this cream lipstick, True Fallow. Fallow? Beautiful. This one is so beautiful. Oh my god. So this is like an orangey red or like burned red. Really pretty. And then I don't know if I've shown you. I think I used this with a look. Uh, but I haven't talked about it. This is Jouer liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Cassis and it's just a beautiful like purplish shade. It's really really pretty and you have it there and it's beautiful like this purple shade as I told you guys. So this was the lipsticks and did I miss something? Well, I actually bought a few palettes, but you already seen them. Let's see here. I bought the whole bundle with the Pinky Rose ones and the Bright Lights palette from Pinky Rose. And I'm really enjoying these. I really love them. And I'm doing these one palette, two looks with them. I've already done one, so I can leave it up in the card. But I'm, I'm going to do looks with all of these of course and I also bought the Riviera palette but you have already seen that so I just want to mention that because that includes the things I have bought now in March well I think this is it guys and uh, now I talked about everything and I as you know I'm going to do like this um, trying new makeup that I want to include a lot of these products uh, obviously I can't use every lipstick but I, or every like uh, gel liner but I just want to try them so you can see so uh, stay tuned for that I think it will come up on Monday and yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it you can always give me a thumbs up and you can always subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next video hopefully thank you for watching this video bye